Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal No Healing in Battle Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode, we made our way through all of the Lighthouse Olivine, Vine City, even catching ourselves a Pokemon here on Route 40 and in Olivine City. And in this episode, we're going to make our way across the ocean, over to Seanwood City, and get that medicine for that Ampharos, unfortunately. So there's a lot of stuff to do this episode. Well, not a lot of stuff to do, but a lot of trainers to fight. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on Marabou, spray a rappel, and we're going to get these trainers underway. Let's do it. It's looking as if we're going to run into a lot of Tentacool. That's all right, though, because they're easy to knock out, and they get a lot of experience. Tentacool are pretty cool. And their music's good. Boom, boom, boom. Ba, ba, ba. The worst part about this water route is if you want to get all the trainers, you kind of got to like go down and then left and then right. I was singing with the song with this girl interrupted me. All right, cool. From Paula here, Damos grew to level 27. Will he evolve yet? I don't know, but she also has a shelter to take down first. That's a cool attack. I like Aurora Beam. I love the animation. Doesn't do much, though, because I'm nine levels higher. Thank you, Johto. That's a unique one. I was not expecting Wartortle in any stretch of the imagination. I mean, I should be fine to at least do a little bit of damage to it with Deimos. Maybe all of it. We'll see. Yeah, that did over half. That's it for Swimmer Randall. He was pretty cool. He had a Wartortle. Okay, guys, here we are in Route 41. So I can actually get an encounter here. The only thing I'm eligible to get is Mantine, so I'm just gonna let my, ooh, I don't wanna fight this guy yet. I'm just gonna let my Repel War off, and whenever I run into one, I'll just show it. But yeah, that's the only thing I can get here. So let's fight this guy next. Whoa, Swimmer George has way too many Pokemon, and they're not Magikarp. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's the beauty in this kind of series. People with six Pokemon that aren't Magikarp don't have to take up the whole video. All right, I'll take this squirt on the what? I don't want to ask questions. The water's warm in that specific spot. Anybody want to take a guess as to why? The ocean is Charlie's bathroom, everybody. Don't swim with Charlie. All right, Deimos grew to level 29. We're going to go ahead and give Deimos a bit of a break after this battle. Whoa, a Tentacruel? That's scary if it wasn't only level 29. Well, it's level 19. If it was level 29, we would be in trouble. But, yeah, not... Nah. Let's let Marabou fight. Why not? Marabou hasn't fought as a Kingler yet. Let's see what Kingler's back sprite looks like. Ooh, baby. That's pretty cool. Don't poison my Kingler, please. Good. Should I? For the meme. BOOM! <laughs> also, no wonder that kid bit Charlie's finger. He peed in the pool. <laughs> I've been saving that one for about five minutes now. Am I the only one that when they see a Goldeen or thinks of the word Goldeen, they they hear from the Generation 1 anime, Goldeen Goldeen, flopping around outside of the water on that sunken SSN? Am I the only one? Mantine has been found. All right. It's a really cool Pokemon. I'd love to use it. Its move pool is extremely limited. This is going to take a while to weaken it because their special defense is the opposite of limited. Let's throw a great ball. Wait, heavy ball. Why not? Of course not. They never work. They're just useless Pokeballs is really the truth. What's the point of great balls? If I throw them, they don't work, and then I toss a Pokeball for funsies, and it gets in that. Mantine's the kite Pokemon. It swims along freely, eating things that swim into its mouth. Its whole body is very coarse. And because, look, it was 500 pounds. Heavy Ball should have done something. <laughs> Anyways, because I like the weird nicknames the best. Last episode, I said I'd name something Huey, but I'm going to take it up a notch. Name this Mantine Sir Huey. <laughs> I was going to name it Sir Huey, Huey the Third with like three eyes, but it obviously doesn't fit. So we've got Sir Huey, the Mantine. And right after that, we make our way to Seanwood City. Or as like, I, I remember a Chugga moment where he was like swimming along and then it just cut and he was like, Seanwood City. I think I think that's a thing. But yeah, we are, we're here in Seanwood City. There's obviously some trainers still up to fight, but we need to head over to that pharmacy first 
And one thing to point out is I can actually get a gift Pokemon here. I can get a free Shuckle. So, I can either get the Shuckle from the gift or catch a Shuckle and name it myself. So I'm not going to get that gift. I'm going to get the Secret Potion here for Ampharos. Then I'm going to go ahead and get a Wild Shuckle for my encounter. I don't know when I'll do it, but I'll do it this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and heal, and we're going to make it back out to the water. Okay, guys, I've smashed rocks for a tiny bit, and I've been fighting the Wild Krabby that pop up because I just realized Akari's level 27. And once I kill this Krabby off, you guys all know what that means. Marabou's not the only Pokemon that evolves at level 28. And Akari grew to level 28. And with that, Akari is evolving! Oh yeah, we got Marowak! One of my favorite Pokémon of all time. Cubone and Marowak are easily my third favorite Pokémon. And Cubone's my mascot, so I love Marowak! Look at Akari now! Oh yeah, this is gonna be a force, as long as he's on the team. 74 defense, too, wow. And if we ever can get him a thick club, that attack's gonna get doubled. Really cool. And nothing. So my encounter for Sea and Wood City can only be one thing, either a Shuckle or Shucky, like I said. So I'm just gonna come in here and get the gift Pokemon of Shucky. So this guy got his Pokemon stolen by somebody that sounds like our rival, Derek. And he's afraid to have his Pokemon, so he wants us to look after it for a while. So he's going to give us a Pokemon, and that Pokemon is actually Shucky the Shuckle. Now, if you bring it back to him after a while, he will want it back, but you don't have to bring it back. So we have Shucky, a perfectly normal-looking level 15 Shuckle. And I'm allowed to use it, and I'm going to. I'm just never going to bring it back to him. So, yeah, I am just as bad as Derek, apparently. All right, time to go back out on those waters and get ourselves the rest of the trainers beat. Let's use a rappel and fight the rest of these trainers surrounding the Whirl Islands. It's fitting that she has Horsey surrounding the Whirl Islands, because that's where you get Horsey. And I can definitely see myself coming back here to get a Horsey in the future, and I definitely plan to. That's the thing I want from the Whirl, from the Whirl Islands. So, we're gonna copy Wendy's strategy, but we'll actually use it to its fullest of potential. And Grandpa is rounded off with the rest of them at level 28, which is pretty sweet. And her other Pokémon is... Well, hey, I'll give her credit. But, if anybody knows anything, the AI, well, not AI, but Stone Evolution Pokemon in older generations have their level up set. There you go. It's really bad. Don't ever worry about a Starmie in older games when they're on a trainer. They'll have, like, Tackle, Rapid Spin, and maybe, if they're lucky, Water Gun, but they normally don't even ever have that, so. It's just cool-looking Sprite to knock out. But this wild tentacle will get him to level 29, which is awesome. Everybody knows what that means. One more level. I'm pretty excited for that one. That's going to be really cool. And he wants to learn rest. Uh, I don't see any slot on his move pool that would benefit from rest, so I'm not going to teach it. But it's a cool move. He has one Pokemon, so this looks like a Gyarados candidate. Whoa, it's a Quillfish. That's really cool, but also frightening because they can have self-destruct, I believe. Meaning I'm not going to risk this, and instead I'm going to let Marabou fight this one. Quillfish are really cool, I'd love to use one, but obviously you can only get them in one area. And they can also have self-destruct, so like I said, I think they can anyways, I'm almost certain that they can. And they look like a Pokemon that can get it, but I just remember from experience that they can get it. Eh, we missed Guillotine, that's fine. Whoa, okay, it does have a Gyarados, I didn't expect it because he's got two Pokemon. It's only level 20, so the only threat it can really have is going to be Thrash. So hopefully Thrash doesn't do in Grandpa, I would really uh, doubt that. And Thunder Punch is enough to take it out in one hit anyways. Nice work, Grandpa! A thousand experience almost, too. And his other Pokemon- another Gyarados? Wow, Swimmer Kirk packs a punch, but not as strong as my Thunder Punch, clearly. Because they both go down in one hit. Nice work, Grandpa. And you guys all know what that means. I'm so excited. We've been waiting for this since we caught him in the dark cave at the beginning of this series. That's it for Swimmer Kirk. And Grandpa's at the level limit, but it doesn't matter because Grandpa is evolving. And we've got Grandpa the Ursa Ring. His name makes a little bit more sense now. Grandpa Bear. 
the Ursa Ring. Oh yes, let's look at him now. 102 HP. Oh yeah, he's stacked. Oh yeah, look at Grandpa. He's a force. Almost 100 <laughs> attack. That is beautiful. Let's cream that final trainer and get out of here. Let's get rid of it. Can we have one last hurrah with Guillotine? I'm wasting all my luck with it when I really need it for Chuck. But hey, it's a fun move to use. What can I say? Oh yeah, I'm definitely sure that we cleared out all of the trainers on the water routes leading from Olivine to Seanwood City. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, a like is appreciated, it helps out a great deal. If you want to see more Pokemon Nuzlocks or Wedlocks like Pokemon Crystal, feel free to subscribe. And in the next episode, we're going to go up to the north of Seanwood City and approach Suicune, where we will be attacked by a certain someone. And then after that, we're going to take on the fifth gym of the game versus gym leader Chuck. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.